Okay, here's another example of a very typical age problem. So it falls in the category of ages. And uh, let's read the problem. A father is six years older than three times the son's age. Five years from now, the son of their ages will be 56. How old are they now? And again, you look at that and go, ooh, where do I start? But if you're not sure, always start here. Let x equal. And you always want to let x equal the youngest. Um, in this case, it would be the son's age. So son's age today. Then how do we represent the father's age in terms of x? Well, it says here that the father is six years older than three times the son's age. So three times the son's age is 3x, and six times older would be plus six. And so this is a good representation of the father's age today. Okay, now that we have the ages defined in terms of x, we want to look for a constraint. It says uh, five years from now, the sum of their ages will be 56. So that's a constraint, but they determine it in terms of what their ages will be in five years. So if these are their ages today, then in five years, how do we represent their ages then? Well, if x is the son's age today, then x plus 5 would be the son's age in five years. So x plus 5 would be the son's age then. And five years later, if 3x plus 6 is the father's age today, then 3x plus 6 plus 5 would be the age of the father then. 3x plus 6 plus 5 equals the father's age then. Of course, we can simplify that, so 3x plus 6 plus 5, we can write that as 3x plus 11. Okay, now that we have their ages expressed in terms of what they will be in five years, and the constraint is in terms of what they will be in five years, we can now read that the sum of their ages will be 56. That means the son's age, that's, and again, just to make sure we do this correct, this is the constraint in five years, so let's write in five years, so we don't make a mistake, the son's age plus the father's age will add up to 56. So here's the mathematical equation of the constraint in terms of their ages in five years. So now we can plug in what these are equal to. We have to find them over here. Son's age in five years will be x plus five. The father's age in five years will be 3x plus 11. When we sum them together, we get 56. And now we have an equation, a linear equation in x that we can easily solve. Let's put all the x's to the left side. They're already there. All the numbers to the other side. So the 11 goes this way. The 5 goes this way, and again, remember, when we move anything across equal sign, the sign changes, so we get x plus 3x equals 56 minus 11 and minus 5. So combine like terms, we have 4x equals 56 minus 11 is 45, minus 5 is 40. Divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the x, and we have x equals 10. Now, since we defined the ages so carefully in terms of x, we see here that x represents the son's age today. So x is the age of the son today. Son's age today is equal to 10. And the father, it's 3x plus 6. So 3 times 10 is 30, plus 6 is 36. So father's age A 36. And just to make sure we did this correctly, we can add five years. In five years. So in five years, the son will be 15. The father will be 41. And look at the constraint. The sum of their ages in five years will be 56. If we add them together, 
15 plus 41 is indeed 56. We got the right answer.